Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Jarell Mata. Today we're going to be doing another makeup tutorial using the Riviera palette, but, but we're going to do something natural, something wearable, not natural because I mean, come on, <laughs> you can't go natural with this one because there's so much color, so much pigment, so much brightness that it's really hard to keep it neutral. Um, but we're going to do something wearable. Now, what might be wearable to me is still too much for you. So at the end of the day, you actually have to think about, you know, whether this palette is really for you or not. Are you going to wear it a lot? Are you going to use it a lot? Are you, are you, into colors period i have received several requests here on my last video as well as on my instagram for me to do wearable looks with this palette but once again i mean wearable to to go wear you know to go to work i don't think this palette it's meant for you to actually go to work um you know to go to an interview to go to a meeting it might be wearable maybe if you're going to a party during the daytime for like a summer um and maybe if you're going out with your friends you know for lunching or something something wearable like that see there's so many definitions of wearable and where exactly you would wear it to <laughs> so it's really up to you it's really what you feel comfortable with going outside um me I don't know if you guys saw my Insta story, but I end up wearing the last makeup tutorial to the gym. Did I feel super 100% uncomfortable? No. Why? Because I was in an environment that no one is wearing makeup. Like it wasn't for me to be rocking that kind of look to the gym. Um, did I do it? Yes. Did I care? No. Uh, because it's just makeup and it, you know, it comes out. So who cares like who cares you know i would have felt comfortable going somewhere with that makeup yes i would have if maybe i was going to like a party or maybe if i was going out with my 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 sisters to lunch or something like that or to dinner because it's spring and you can wear everything else that you're wearing like you can wear a tank top a black shirt a white shirt something neutral and let it be let your makeup talk you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, I love colors. You guys already know that, but you know, I just, I just want you to feel your best. Like makeup is for you to feel your best. It's to, you know, enhance your beauty, to get creative, um, you know, where you can feel more comfortable, more confident. So it's not like you have to wear these type of colors because everyone is using them. Absolutely not. Wear what you feel comfortable and happy in the most. What makes you feel confident. Um, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I know. So intense today. I'm so intense. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. You can also click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video, which is every single week. And without further ado, get on to the video <laughs> so the first thing that i'm going to do is prime my eyes and i'm going to be using the soft ochre paint pot by mac the reason why i'm using this one is because it worked so well with the purples and pinks that i used on my last video and it really made all the colors stand out and they blended super super nicely so that is the reason why i'm going to continue on using this paint pot by mac I'm blending that and I'm not going to stand it all the way out or up. I'm just going to keep it right on the outer V and I'm going to bring it a little bit higher and then blend it inside and just keep on doing this until you see, you know, until you're satisfied with the color. All right, now using a smaller brush, this one is the E25 and I'm taking coastline and just adding this one to the outer V again and I'm bringing it too high up and just working it on the crease. Just bringing it in halfway. Now going in with the other brush, just blending the edges. So just doing the same thing until you are satisfied with the intensity of the colors. Now using the Morphe E17 brush, I am going to take this shade right here which is called palm and we're going to stamp it and we're only going to work it on the outer corner
and on your lower outer corner, not bringing it too high up. And building this color to the intensity that you want. So that's why you have to start little by little because it can get intense really, really, really quick. I'm going to build coastline a little bit more and a little bit higher, but on the outer corner. Just because I feel like that color is disappearing. Going back with palm. Okay, now using the same brush, which is the E17 brush, and I'm going to be using Monte Carlo, and I'm just going to grab a little bit of it, such a beautiful shade, and I'm going to put it right here to meet with Palm. So taking sails now, And taking the E17 brush and just blending those two together. And just taking the E25 one more time and a little bit of state. Just going to add it right here. Just so it can blend nicely. This is what we have so far. I'm going to add some mascara and some lashes and I'm going to do my base and then I'll come back so we can finish the rest of the lower lashes. I added this Marc Jacob uh, liner, but if it's not your style, if it's not something that you are interested, you don't have to do it. This is a totally, totally optional. So let's go ahead and just finish it up. I'm going to grab a little bit more of the white and I'm just going to wrap it around my eye. Using coastline right here on a pencil brush. So that is all that we're doing on the lower lashes. I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara. So the palette that I use for my face bronzer and blush is this one by Cover FX that I got at my BoxyCharm. I use this blush and this bronzer. Now I'm going to highlight my face, but first I'm going to just make sure that everything is set uh, with the spray. So I'm going to use this one right again because it is uh, so good. This is the final look. So yeah, guys, that's it for the look. That's it for the video. I hope that this inspires you and, you know, it helps you out on making a more wearable look. I think that this is really, really natural, very wearable. Obviously, for a little pop of color with the white, um, you know, once again, like I mentioned from the beginning, I don't think that this is your palette to, you know, use it to go to work, to go to school, any of that stuff, because I think this palette, it's more for like a fun, um, spring and summer kind of situation, not necessarily for something so serious, but obviously you can just skip on that white and just make it really nice and pinky, super soft, and you can just go really light-handed, and then you can wear it to those particular 
it's more serious occasions you know just giving you a little bit of ideas there also if you are interested in seeing more looks using this palette please let me know in the comment section down below the only shimmery shade that i have on my eyes is the ones that i added on my brow bone from the cover effects palette every single shadow that i use today from the riviera is matte so if you are interested in me using other colors <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below i would love 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 to do that for you of course because i cannot get enough from this palette like i am so looking forward to just using more of the metallic shades of course i did this video because of you guys requested it because you guys wanted to see something a little bit more wearable but make sure that you're staying connected to my channel by clicking that bell and that way you do not miss any of the other looks that i I am planning on creating because I cannot, I cannot get enough from this palette. This palette is so amazing to me. Me personally, I really like it. I love it. I think that it's worth every single penny like I've mentioned on my last video. I just think the pigmentation is there. I love the way that it's set up. I love the way that they're blending to each other. And now that I use all the mattes, I mean, come on, you know, blend. They blend so beautifully. So yeah. That's it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you next time. Bye.